Today we're doing Dollar Tree DIYs using Iron Orchid Design Seed Packet Catalog Transfers. This is a frame that I found at the Dollar Tree, not my normal Dollar Tree, but I went to a different one and I'm so glad that I did because my Dollar Tree doesn't have these frames and I just thought this would be perfect for this uh, particular DIY with the transfers today. So we're gonna go ahead and use this for our first DIY. So this is a summer release from Iron Orchid Designs. It is the um, seed catalog designs. I think these are just beautiful. They're so rich in color. And I feel like they're okay even for the end of summer or close to fall because they remind me of harvest. When I look at the vegetables and the fruits in here, it reminds me of harvest time. There's some, there's a peach picture in here and I think it's time for peaches now. And so I think that the colors also are kind of going into fall. So I felt like this was still an appropriate time to do this sort of DIY today. So I also bought one of these canvases. So we'll be doing one of these too. This is smaller. So it's really too, too small for this. So we'll be using a smaller one with that. All right. We're gonna do this one with this. So make sure when you put your transfer down, you've got your hook part if you wanna hang it at the top. All right, let's make sure we've got this straight. And I usually stand up but to make sure I've got it on straight. I know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to Put your trust into us and we will help you through cause we all Oh my gosh, look at that. That is gorgeous. I am loving this. And all this is is the transfer and all I did was transfer it onto this Dollar Tree wood frame. It's gorgeous. I'm going to put this up in my kitchen. <laughs> Next, I found this wooden caddy this morning, and this is from the Target Dollar Spot. So, farmer's market, only the finest fruits and vegetables, I thought. That is just perfect for these transfers. I think we're gonna do on the side here. This wooden caddy was um, $5. You want what's bad. What's best for you? So as you can see, we're not putting this on the side. I didn't have any that really fit on the side. So I decided to do it along the opposite side of the other writing. And even with this, it really wasn't working you know, as it was. So we're gonna kind of cut it up a little bit here and piece it together. I know that you are having trouble believing right now That everything is gonna be is gonna be all right I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to put your trust into us And we will help you through Cause we only want what 
look bad. So you definitely want to make sure when you're using these transfers that you are getting all of it transferred down onto the surface that you're using. You can see me kind of going back and looking and making sure I'm getting all of the writing and all of the pictures. So I styled mine using some napkins. I put some napkins in it. You could certainly put some in-season fruit. You could gather a bunch of things and put it in there for like a gift for somebody. I think it would make a cute caddy for a gift. The next thing that I have here is this water bottle. This also came from the Target dollar spot. This was $3 for this jumbo tumbler. And it has a little straw. And anyways, I looked at this and I looked at the color and I thought this might be just the thing for one of these transfers. So we're gonna see if it works on this. Okay, so I cleaned this with alcohol. I don't know if I need to do that with plastic or not. So we'll find out. I've decided to use this one here, this peach catalog picture, everything for the fruit grower. I'm gonna try this one. I need to get it as close as I can because I think it's going to take up pretty much the whole length of it. So the question is going to be how it's going to um, adhere, first of all, and then secondly, once I have water in this or there's condensation, how it's going to hold up with that. So that will be something that I'll let you know later on. What is best for you? I pull these up I am so happy with them oh wow this is so pretty this is like look this just took this little three dollar tumbler to like another level <laughs> I really love it okay so obviously with this since this is a water bottle and this is a transfer you're not going to want to submerge this so if you do use it as a water bottle, you're going to want to just clean the inside of it out and not submerge the outside. But I do like the way that turned out. Also, another idea would be to fill it with candy and give it as a gift or tuck it in as an extra with a gift you're already giving. That would be nice too. And I do have water in here now and it seems to be okay so far. Okay, so this is the canvas, and so this is a different surface. I'm trying different surfaces here today to see how they work with these transfers. So I'm going to do this one. I think I'm going to use this one here. But I'm going to paint this, so I have to figure out. All right, got to check my colors here. Okay, I have assembled. Okay, I have assembled some colors here. We've got some reds and some orangey reds, some peachy colors, like a vintage. I'm calling these vintage colors. Greens, kind of beiges. I don't know. Mineral. I'm thinking mineral is too much like that, and I'm thinking it's too gray. I'm considering the nutmeg. I'm considering going bold and dark. I'm considering the 
what is this, the moss, but it might not be the right green. I think the elephant here is also too gray. I'm actually considering this pink. I don't know, this might be too cool of a color. All right, I've put them both out here and I'm, this one down here and this one here. I'm not really liking the way this looks. I'm not sure this matches though. I'm actually gonna, I'm probably gonna cover this all in white. We'll see. I have not used this color, so I don't think this goes with it as much as I'd like to use it. Okay, we're going to paint the brown on here. So I'm going to do something else too, though, I think, besides just the brown. So, because I don't like the brown, like, stark by itself. So I'm going to end up putting another color on here, too. Okay, so this is two coats. This is dry. Strangely, it sort of looks like wood. We're going to do something else to it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little gold to this. Some dry brushing. Dry brush some gold onto this. Let it set overnight. I've got this uh, little chippy brush here and I have my um, metallic antique gold. So definitely want the antique gold, not the bright gold. continue to kind of look at this. I think I'm liking that. So I'm going to go to bed and sleep on it because it's late. Okay, it's the next morning and I'm taking a look at this. I'm thinking, oh no, I kind of like that. So I do need to paint the sides of this because they're not finished, which I am going to do. But I think before I do that, we're gonna go ahead and put the transfer on. I was gonna paint it a burgundy instead because I just wasn't sure about these colors together. But when I came down here just now from upstairs, I thought, well, I don't know, I kind of like it. So we'll see how this goes on a canvas. That's going to be our great experiment with this today, is if this even works on this canvas. And I can already see how different this feels. I am not sure this is working. Okay, honestly, before I go any further, This is not adhering to this. So I'm using the edge of this and I'm pushing my hand up against it underneath here. Mm -hmm. 
So just to show you, I did paint the sides. So I think it needs a little something else. So I'm going to take, I'm actually going to flip this this way. Let's start on the back here. This is just a vase from the Dollar Tree. Again, $1.25 for this. So I think I want to use this one for this, but I think I'm going to paint this. So, and kind of hopefully give it an opaque look because we will put some light behind it, but it's not quite going to fit the way it is. So we're going to just kind of cut it down a little bit. I think, I think these ends are going to be two. So we're just going to kind of like cut it right there. I think kind of bring it around and leave those scraggly eggs, edges off of it. Put this down here last night. Okay, so we're going to clean our surface with some alcohol here first. Also, I did that with the uh, plastic piece too. I might have already said that, but that was yesterday and I don't remember. So I'm just gonna clean my piece here. Make sure you clean the glass all around because I'm gonna paint this. I actually forgot to do that. All right, so my al the alcohol is dry on here now. So what I wanna do is paint this and I'm going to take a look what I want to do here. What I want to do here is paint this and I just need to see, I think this is going to cover the whole thing because I had to cut, cut some of it. Yeah, pretty much. So I think we're going to paint the whole thing here. And I'm going to use my Fusion Mineral Paint in the Chateau because I really want to use this color. I think this color will go well with this. Hopefully it's going to still show some light through the candle holder. Um, I'm hoping that, but I really want to use this color. This is an all-in-one like primer paint and, and top coat. So, and hopefully that won't give me too much trouble with the transfer being put on there. It shouldn't, I don't think. All right, let's paint. All right, let me use this candle holder here and I'm actually going to paint it like that which means you're not really going to be able to see it <laughs> so I'll just show it to you when it's done all right so I'm just going to take the time to jump in here and tell you that this actually is my fail <laughs> out of all of these because I really should have gotten like an opaque spray paint in white something that was more see-through or maybe some etching, like the, the etching instead. Um, but, you know, I was trying to use what I had on hand. I really didn't want to go out and buy yet another can of paint. So I used the Chateau color, but you can see, even though I used a foam brush, you can see the brush streaks. Um, there were two coats put on it. So, you're going to see here when it's done. I mean, it doesn't look too bad in the picture, but in person, I'm not real happy with it, but I'm probably still going to use it in my uh, family room on my fireplace in the fall. 
then what I did was I just tucked some fairy lights inside of it to give it that glow. And here's how it looks when it's done.